Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. It's Thursday. Anyway, I thought I would make this video because I was just on my Facebook and one of my friends posted a link to an article and I read it and I thought it was very good and I thought I would share it with you. Now, if you had been watching me on my main channel for a while, you know that a while ago I made a video talking about how people have these preconceived notions of people who live in Texas and how they are and how they're not really true. Anyway, the article was talking about how Texas actually is growing population size, not the fact that like more people are being born here, but more people are moving here. And they were like in a list of like 10 top grow like population growing cities, Houston has like 3, 3 or four I don't know. It was like a good chunk of it was um, Texas cities. Uh, and, you know, and it was going on talking about how, first off, you know, the biggest reason is jobs. Um, if you don't realize, Texas does a lot of manufacturing for gas and oil, and so there's a lot of jobs here. Uh, let's see. Other thing was like land is pretty cheap. Here, there's a lot of it. Uh, you have a little bit laxer government. We don't have a lot of regulations. It's easier to build a house. People are genuinely friendly here. Like, it, it's just something like it, it's southern hospitality. You're nice to people, it's just what you do. Um, I remember when Katrina happened, and all of the people from Louisiana that were coming to Texas, you know, came to Houston. Now, I'm, I was in high school when that happened, and we, you know, had kids coming from Louisiana to our high school, and I remember being one of, like, the mentor kids where I was going to, like, show around this girl her classes and, like, you know, be a familiar face for her, um, you know, starting, like, midway through the semester um, at a new school in a new city can be kind of weird, and I just remember, like, one of my friends being like, okay, guys, we have to remember, like, we're known for being friendly here, so let's just keep that up and just be really nice to these kids that are coming in. And, you know, it's not it's not as dumb as people think. You know, we they were saying something about, like, our 8th graders actually, like, score higher than the national average usually on, like, reading tests or something. I don't know. But anyway, Texas is a great place to live here. Um, you know, they're saying most people you grow up who think, oh, I'm going to move to L.A. or I want to move to New York or something like fabulous. You don't think about moving to Texas. But, you know, honestly, being born and raised here, I, I mean, I complain about the heat. I complain about the traffic. But, you know, at the end of the day, I like living in Houston. There's a lot here that they can offer you. You can find just about anything you want, almost anything you want here in Houston. And... I just, I don't know. It would be nice one day to live somewhere else. But for right now, I love living in Texas. I just, right now I can't really see myself living anywhere else. But I'm not saying I'm not going to ever move somewhere else. Because that would be a little crazy. So, yeah. Texas is not all a bunch of hicks, okay? I promise you. There are some, don't get me wrong, there are hicks in Houston, and not in, well, not really in Houston, Houston's a major city, but if you go out to, like, East Texas, you'll find some hicks, um, so, yeah, move to, move to Texas, it's awesome, lots of jobs, cheap land, good education, um, they're talking about in Austin, there's really good nightlife there, like, um, 6th Street is, like, huge over there. They have really, really good restaurants in Austin, too. Uh, but Austin is a weird place, let me tell you. Keep Austin weird, they like to say. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Oh, so if you don't know, I am a big fan of Sarah Dessen. She writes books. Um, I know they're uh, targeted more for, like, younger girls, but... I, I've loved her for so long, I just, I can't wait for this new book to come out, and it sounds really good. Anyway, um, it comes out Tuesday, actually, and 
in a week, actually, Thursday, next week, she'll be here in Houston. Um, she's coming through Blue Willow, and that's actually who I saw her through last time. Her last book came out, she came through Blue Willow, although it's not actually in their bookstore because their bookstore is really, really, really small. So it's somewhere else. But if you're in the Houston area and you like Sarah Destin, you should come out because her last one was like really like small. I mean, it wasn't like too small, but I, it just felt like a good number of people were there. Intimate. Uh, the thing is though, if you want to get your book signed, you have to buy your book through Blue Willow. Um, that's how it was the last time I saw Sarah Destin. That's how it was when I went to go see John Green when he came in because he came in through Blue Willow too. Um, just because they are an independent bookstore and they need money to survive so they can bring more author, awesome authors in. Um, so, yes, if you're in Houston and you want to come see Sarah Dessen, she will be here next Thursday, June 6th at 7 p.m. It's through Blue Willow. Um, I can't think of the actual place that it's going to be at, but it's off-site. But if you go to Blue, I think it's bluewillowsbooks.com, I believe is their website, they should have all of that information there so yep my friend and I are planning to go she was supposed to go with me last time but she couldn't get off work but now she will not have work so we're gonna go and it's gonna be fabulous and I'm so excited <laughs> um what else it's almost summer actually it'll be good because both of us are teachers and so that'll be like our cook-off for summer we're gonna go meet well she's gonna meet Sarah Dawson I'm gonna see her again and get her book signed. So I haven't actually bought my book yet. I'm kind of like, I really want to get it like Tuesday so I can read it. But at the same time, like, I, you know, I don't want to have to order two books because that's what I ended up having to do for her last book. I ended up because I bought the book already and I had read it and I brought it with me. And they're like, well, if you want to get signed, you have to buy a book from us. So I ended up buying a book from them so I could get my book signed. And then when John Green did his book, you know, like, I pre-ordered it because I was like, oh, I want a signed copy. And then he was coming to Houston through Blue Willow, and they're like, well, to tickets to get into the event, you have to buy a book for us. So I ended up having to buy two books, and I'm like, I really don't want to buy two books. So I think I need to call them tomorrow and see if I can, excuse me, pre-order it for them, get it, like, Tuesday and still be able to go. Because I want to read the book before she comes. Um... Big old dark circles. But yeah, that's my thing. Um, when I went to go see Will Grayson, Will Grace, well, when I went to go see John Green for Will Grayson, Will Grayson, he didn't come to Houston. He went to, to Austin, actually. So I had pre-ordered my book, and it didn't actually come until, so books come out on Tuesday. It came out, I got it on Friday, and the thing was, the event was that Friday in Austin. So literally, it was like walking out the door of my dorm to go drive to Austin, and they were like, oh, you have a package. So I got the book, and I was, like, so excited I got the book, and I'm going to go see John Green. But the thing was, I didn't have a chance to actually read it before I went. So, like, people were, like, making references, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go now that I've done my rant about Texas and books because most of the blah, 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 blah. both of those things are are awesome. Anyway, I hope you are having a fantastic Thursday, and until I see you next, stay nerdy, or whatever.